uh, West Port. Idea to become in Russia, member of WTO. Yeah. Uh, no just conditions. One point. No trade-offs. Uh, you will now say that's that not our conditions. We are not putting this issue in a political. So level. you won't tie it to Abkhazia no. and South Ossetia. No, no. I'll explain now. That's not about politics. That's about the rules which they should accept if they want to be member of WTO. What it means? It means they should respect neighbors economical borders so, ah, the, right. the, so that's not demand from us that's well, what about is based on WTO you see, uh, I, okay so that sounds a bit like a condition to me uh, but, but, but that's but, a very, but hang on. Well, the, very good opportunity now because of course now we are not talking about to deploy Georgian border forces on uh, this territory and this border we proposed to Georgian government in these negotiations to give Russians opportunity to agree to your uh, um, uh, proposals to how to deal with this issue, to have the uh, objective information on the ground and to give this information to Georgian official structures. All right, but the, the reason I'm talking Russia now is that Vladimir Putin in the last few days has made some very interesting noises about creating a new, what he's calling a Eurasian Union, a new vast mm. economic space that would actually mirror geographically pretty much the space of the former Soviet Union. It wouldn't be a political space, but it would be a, a customs and trading union. Can you imagine a day where Georgia would want to join that? I don't think that uh, this time will appear in the shortcoming period. I think that. So you're uh, very keen on the EU, but you're not so keen on anything to do with Putin's vision of a Eurasian Union. We together should reconsider and reanalyze our approach toward each other. Uh, Russia should change their uh, double, pro very unproductive policy toward Caucasia. They are uh, inspiring uh, uh, breakaway regions, uh, independence and uh, separatists, and they are fighting against separatists in their own territory. Right, so so uh, we should. When you tell me things. you're seeking we, a new we, we relationship with Moscow, it doesn't sound... 80% like of, uh, pro, of problems of our relations mm. is to Russian side, but 20% percent is in our side. So we, we should uh, be more ready to change this attitude uh, from ourselves. Interesting. Final thought for you. There is one more parallel I see with what's happening in Russia. Putin, it seems, is going to run for president. We may have another decade of President Putin having had Prime Minister Putin most recently. On your side of the fence in Georgia, it seems Saakashvili, who has to quit the presidency in 2013, may well be looking at the prime ministership because he's boosting the powers mm -hmm. of the parliament and, and therefore the premier as well. Is Saakashvili something like Georgia's Putin, do you think? During the first hour debates in parliament, when president visited the Georgian parliament and I made a statement uh, in charge of the leader of minority, I told him, if you want to defeat the Putin, you should become anti-Putin. I don't mean the personal relations. I mean that uh, Georgia is a tiny country. And the Vaslav Hal mentioned that uh, democracy is the strength of weakness. So in our weak is our strength. The democratic development, that's not just about values, which is important for me personally and uh, my, my counterpart, but that's important for our security, that's important for our long-term territorial integrity strategical interest in Georgia. Okay, 